In this video, I am attempting to make a mobile game from scratch using my mobile phone in just 5 hours. This is actually my first time making a game with a time limit and it's very very exciting. And at the end of this video, we will see if we can actually manage to make a mobile game in just less than 5 hours. So make sure to watch this video until the end and without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, I set the timer to 5 hours and boom, there we go, the challenge has officially begun. Also, if you're wondering what kind of game engine I use, I'm using the Max 2D game engine. Max 2D is a very simple 2D game engine for mobile devices. If you want to start making your own games on your mobile phone, then you can check out Max 2D. Max 2D is a free to download app on Google Play Store and it's only available for Android, so um, yeah. Anyways, I open up Max 2D and get to work on working the game. So first of all, I created a new project. And after that, the first thing I did is I added a square, which represent as the player for now. And we're gonna add some art later on. And after that, I encoded the player so that the player can move controlled by a joystick. And it works like a ch- Oh, what the- Okay, we have- I forget to add a rigid body. Um, okay, now it works. Alrighty, after that, I then added another square, which is actually a rectangle, I, I, you know, it's... Anyway, this thing right here is represent as the gun for the player, and I then attach them together, and boom! So, whatever the player go, and the gun will just, you know, stick to the player, I think. Anyway, after that, I then coded the gun to rotate, which is controlled by the joystick, same as the player. And this is what I mean by that. As you can see, if I start rotating the joystick, the gun will also rotate as well. So the idea of the game is pretty pretty simple. I just wanted to create a simple top-down shooter game where the enemy will randomly spawn on the map. And the goal of the game is to survive as long as possible. Okay, since we're making a shooter game, it is now time to make the gun work. So I did some coding so that the gun can now create bullets. And after that, I then give the bullets some velocity so that they can move. And just like that, we have a working gun. Uh, I think. Maybe not. So I came across with an issue that the bullet spawning position is not correct. So I then got to work on fixing this issue and this one actually took me a while uh, just to figure out what the heck is going on. But eventually though, I managed to fix it. So yeah, good job me I guess. So yeah, the bullet spawning position is now fixed and after that, I didn't check my timer on how much time do I have left and I have 4 hours and 33 minutes left. And I realized that I still have actually plenty of time left. I was actually kind of a bit worried that I already spent a lot of time just to fix one issue but I, I was relieved after seeing the timer that I actually still have a lot of time left. Anyways, I then started adding some enemies which is basically just some red squares for now but I will probably change this thing later on. And I also made it so that if they collide with a bullet, they will obviously get destroyed. And at this point, I realized that I really need to change the squares right now. Like, yeah. I mean, having squares all around your screen is kind of boring. So it's time to spice it up a little bit by adding some art. Pixel art, actually. So, yeah. So I open up Pixel Art Studios and it's actually one of my favorite app that I use to make my pixel art because it's really efficient and really easy to use. So first of all, I started working on the player sprite. And after a while, this is what I've got. Y yeah, I, I know what you're thinking right now, like... Well, it's actually not finished yet, but let's do a little bit of magic and... Ta-da! Yeah. Oh, hell no, man. Yeah, I know. It's still trash, right? But you know what? It's better than a square. I then take a quick check on my timer and I still have 4 hours and 6 minutes left. I then started making some animation. First of all, I made an idle animation and the last thing I did is made a running animation. And I then quickly changed the square with a new sprite and look at that, it's much better now. I also give our player with a new gun which is, looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. And yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. And after that, I then decided to start making an actual enemy, not just some red squares and stuff like that. And I decided to use the Pixel Art Studios sprites library. So instead of like spending a lot of time making some new sprites, I decided to just borrow some stuff in here so that I can save a lot of time. And just like that, we have an actual enemy now. And after playing for a little bit, I then check my timer and I only have 2 hours and 58 minutes left, which is 
actually not good, I'm running out of time. So I didn't get to work on making the map of the game. I still use the sprite library so that at least I can save a little bit of time. And 25 minutes later, this is what I've got. And I then quickly add it into the game and added some final touches and there we go. And I'm so happy on how it turned out. I then take a look on my timer and I only have 2 hours and 16 minutes left. So I then got to work on adding a health bar to our player and I also added a ammo system so that the player can actually lose some ammo. And I also added a pause menu. I also added a damage effect when the player collides with the enemy bullet and I think it looks pretty cool. I then got to work on making the enemy spawn randomly on the map. I also added some power-ups such as health potions and also some ammunition. So if you get low on health, you can just collect this health potion which also randomly spawn on the map. And same as the ammunition as well. And as you guys can hear, I also done making the sound effects. At this point, I realized that the game is so close to finishing and I'm also really tired. Like, yeah, I've been sitting on my chair for like 4 hours now and I wanted to take a break but... Unfortunately though, when I check the timer, I only have 17 minutes left and I really thought that I was have like a 50 minutes or so and no! So after seeing the timer that I have a tiny amount of time left, I started to speed things up. At this point, I was actually working on the game over menu. I didn't really came up with, you know, making some fancy stuff because I was I was running out of time. So I just went with a simple approach with a black screen on it and it will also display your total kills. After making the game over menu, I then got to work on working the main menu. So first of all, I added the title of the game. It's called Dungeon Shooter. I then added a play button and then added some final touches and and there we go. A game made in 5 hours. I check my timer and I still actually have 5 minutes left and I just spend that 5 minutes playing the game and yeah I did it I made a game in 5 hours it's pretty cool actually